Hey everybody, it's Ash Fabulous, and I have another tutorial for y'all. Um, this is a really, really easy one, so um, just sit back and enjoy. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you how to make a bracelet out of tape measure. Um, it's really, really, really easy, and um, you can be as creative with it as you want. As you see, I added charms to mine. Um, I got this little mannequin that, um, you know, you, you make dresses on. I wrapped it in wire a little spool of thread and some scissors that I made out of wire but I'm going to just show you how to make the um, the bracelet because I want you all to be as creative as you can so um, let's get started um, first you're going to need uh, well your supplies tape measure um, I have different sizes here um, the next thing that you're going to need is these little ribbon clasps you can get them from Michaels in the finding section. Um, you should get these and these kind of at the same time, I guess you can say, because what you're going to need to do is basically fit it. So if you see this one, this is a big one, that's not going to fit that one. This bigger one might fit this one, which it will, but I'm going to show you how to use the, um, the smaller one, and the smaller one fits this one that I have. This is the one I made. I showed you, I made this one out of. So, um, yeah, these are the smallest clasps that they have in the package. Um, other than the clas and clasps, I can't even say that, and the um, tape measure, you're going to need two jump rings, um, lobster claw finding, a uh, toothpick, industrial strength glue, it doesn't have to be E6000, but something strong, um, pliers, scissors, and a scrap piece of paper because sometimes if you don't put the top back on the glue, which I do all the time, it starts oozing out. So um, anyway, let's get started. What you have, um, what you should do is measure your wrist around. Mine is about eight inches. I know I'm a ch chubby one, but um, the average wrist, I guess, around seven inches. But what I like to do is at least go half an inch under what your wrist is. So one, two three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to add about eight, so I'm going to go actually go about half an inch, which on here, if you see, is 14 and a half, because I already used one to seven earlier. Um, so what you're going to do is just cut it right there, and if you're making it for somebody, I suggest you do about six or seven inches, and then ex put an extender on there, like extra change, put an extender on there. So, after you have your, your um, tape measure cut, what you're going to do is take the glue and, oop, see, it's oozing already. Take your toothpick and just take a little glob off of there. Just a little glob. And this is what I had the scrap paper for because I don't like screwing the top back on right away. But you should so it won't dry out. But just put your glue on the scrap paper. And then what you're going to do is take it and be careful not to get it on the outside of the clasp. So you might want to open it up more, but I didn't. But, um, hold on. Put the glue on the inside of the clasp and just smear it around. Just like that. I don't know why my camera isn't focusing very good. I'm sorry. But what you're going to do is take one end of it, line it up, and put it right inside the finding and take your pliers and pinch. Now it might ooze out on the sides but that's good. Just smear it. That'll keep it from coming apart. But squeeze as tight as you can. And we have this side done. And then go ahead to the other side and do the same thing. Uh oh, we're oozing. Oh no. I hate this stuff because it like just strings and stinks really bad. Okay, take the other one, put the glue on the inside, smear it around. And then put the clasp, put it on the the um, tape measure, and make sure that it's lined up good. 
and squeeze it really tight. And see, this happened before. Sometimes the glue oozes into the actual, this top part right there. So what you're going to do is just take a clean end of your toothpick and run it through there. And then you'll see the extra excess glue. Just take a napkin and pull that off and pull it right back out. There you go. It's clear. Now what you're going to do is let this dry and um, make sure that all the excess glue is gone. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, what you're going to do is let this dry. And as soon as this is dry, I'm going to continue.